Hey guys, welcome back to Jimena and Leilani's Beatport Podcast. And as you can see, we have new professional oh, mics. Yes. Yes, they look really nice. They look like, I don't like those ASMR things. They go like... Oh, and I have nails on too. Okay, stop. Oh my so god, oh my god. So today we are going to be talking about scary stories. So from like last podcast. Yeah, we're, talk about yeah, we're talking stories. about from last podcast because something happened. So we're just talking about what we talked about yesterday. Yeah. So... Yeah. How was your day? It's been... It's been okay. Yeah. Mine's been... It's been kind of boring. It's been kind of like normal. And this week is... I can tell this week is going to go by slow. Oh, yeah. For sure. This week is really going by slow. Well, last week it went by really quick. Yeah, I did. I was like, what the heck? So, I'm going to be talking about my scary story. This happened in Mexico, not here. It was when I was like seven. Seven or eight. Oh, so you were like young? Seven, eight... Maybe seven. No, this was happening when I was nine or ten. Oh, but you're still young ten. though. Yeah, I was still, I was still young. Mm. Alright, so happy. so I went to Mexico, and you know how like you have to walk on the board, like there's like a river like around the house, and to get to the house, you have to walk on like a board. Mm-hmm. And so I was, I walked on the board. And so it kind of seemed a little sus because there were some trees around it. It kind of looked spooky. And I was like, mm, mm. no. So, you know, I'm minding my business. Everybody's outside. I needed I needed to do something. I think my mom called. That's what it was. My mom called. And so I answered. And in Mexico, you don't get very good service. What like part of Mexico did you go? Oh, I don't know. Part of Tamaulipas. Was it close to here or was it like? No, it was really far. Is it like the north or the south? Or? The south. No, the north. Yeah, the north. Anyways, I don't know. Um, but I was like calling my mom. I got off the phone and I was like, I want to stay inside for a little bit. So I heard something like walk, walking, you know, and I heard people like, like I heard something walking and playing with stuff. So I thought it was the kids. From outside? Yeah, the kids that came outside. And they were messing with stuff, and they were being really, really loud, and I was starting to get annoyed. And I was like, bro, these kids need to shut up. And then I went, and I looked, and, like, I was going to be like, can you please be quiet? They weren't and there? They weren't there. Uh-uh. And so I was like, okay, they went outside, you know, no big deal. Like, thank God. This girl was still trying to find reasons. And so um, I went back to my room, and I left the door. Like, I shut it this time. And I heard something knock, like knocking with the door, like not knocking, but like messing with the door handle. Yeah, the doorknob. And I'm like these baby kids if they don't stop. And so I was like, starting to get annoyed. And so I was like, you know what? It's whatever. I'm not gonna tell them anything. Like they're having fun. Mm -hmm. So then they start knocking, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna act like nobody's in here. Like you know. So <laughs> You're like, so stupid. So they don't come in here. And then, so then I heard, like, glass breaking. Oh, I have stories about my, my grandma glass breaking. Um, and so, like, I heard, like, glass breaking. And I was like, like, oh, my God, I don't want anybody yeah, to I get think hurt. That's, that's a thing. Like, like I don't want anybody to get hurt. So I went outside. Like, I did went outside. I just opened the door, and I was like, I was going to be like, what happened? And all I saw was the glass, and nobody was there. And I was that's when I started to go, like, um, um, so I picked up a glass and threw it away. It was dark, by the way, because it was nighttime. And so I went back in the room. And then I left the door, like, a little bit open. And then all I see, like, five minutes later, all I see is the door open. Like, creak, like, slowly? Yes, and it's like... That's what happened to me at and, my house. And I was supposed to say, like, can y'all stop playing with the door? And nobody was right there. And I was like... And then I heard footsteps leading to my room. And then they went back. They went back. Like, I heard footsteps going back. And then I was like, like, let me go check if anything's around the house. And so I was like, it might be like the, the like, they might have came outside, you know? I was making excuses. And so I went outside and I, you know, checked everywhere. I would have thought it was a ghost instantly or some spirit. This girl was still trying to find reasons. Thinking anyways, it was a kid. Anyways, and so then I checked back. And you know how, like, stuff, there's like... There could be like a thing right here, like um, 
uh, what is it called? Like, um, where they hold stuff, like a shelf. Oh, yeah, they, you know, those shelves. shelves. So, like, right when I was going into the, like, the room, there's a shelf behind me, like, that leads up right to the room. And then I hear, like, like, something move on that shelf. And I turn back fast, and I'm like, and nothing was right there. And I'm like, mm -mm. I was like, oh, my God, you know what? At this point, I'm going to grab my phone, and I'm going to go outside. And so I went outside, and we were making marshmallows, and we had a fire. And then somebody got a marshmallow in my hair. And so then I was like, and I left it there for a few minutes, you know, get a little soggy. Ew. And so, no, because we were still making marshmallows, and I was like, okay, I'm going to take a shower right after I make this one. So I mm -hmm. ate it, and then I ate it, and then we talked for a little bit, and then I went back inside. I'm the first one to shower. And so I go in there. And you know how in Mexico, there's not really a door, like, where you can shower and you can shut it. Yeah. Like, it's like... You just enter. You yeah, just you enter shower. and then it's a shower. But it has a little curved thing where you can't see. It's like, like this? You can't see in front of you. Is it like this? No. It's like, this is the shower, and there's, like, a wall right here and a wall right here, and then an open space right here. Oh, So okay. you can't see what's going on right here. Oh, okay. So I went in the shower, and I heard something coming towards the restroom and i wasn't even in the shower yet you were just there like i was just there and i was like should i take a shower i was like it might be just me like you know i might just you know mm -hmm. and so then i heard something messing with like my clothes like my towel like because my towel was right here like i was gonna get it like turn and get it mm -hmm. and so i heard something like clothes dropping you know how clothes when they sound when they drop mm -hmm. so i heard it drop and i was like I was like, I'm just going to hurry up and take a shower, you know, maybe it's the kids. <laughs> maybe it's the kids. And I'm just trying to convince myself that it's something yeah, else like it's so not, that I'm not scared. Yeah. So At least you did that. At least you didn't think it was a ghost right away because then you would have been attracting, what, what it, like, attracting the spirit more and more. Like, it would scare you. And so I'm taking a, sh I'm taking a shower and I turn around. So the... The water is coming from right here. Like, the water is coming from right here. And I was faced towards it because it was hitting my face. And so I turn around so I can get the shampoo. And I'm cl I am close my eyes. Mm -hmm. That's scary. And the water turned off. <gasps> like, it went like, it went like, ee, 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 and then it turned off. And I was like, and I had soap in my eyes so I could not see. And so I turned it back on and then it turned off again. Like, right when I was washing my hair, it turned off again. And I was like, you gotta pay your phone or your water bill or something. I was like, maybe they pay the water bill. Maybe they pay the <laughs> and so then I'm washing my hair and stuff like that. And this is the weirdest part ever. Like, I think, I don't know what it was. It might have been a hair. But I felt something touch my leg. Like, not like that. Like, it was like a little, like a little. Like a figure, like just going like this. Yeah, just like. And I thought it was hair because maybe that's what hair feels like on your leg. And so I was like, that's when I started getting creeped out. And so I hurried up and I was like, I was washing my hair. And then I got out and then like I heard something coming towards me while I was drying my hair. And you know how you had to flip your hair down and then dry it? And so I got scared and I went like, and then I folded it back up. And then I went to the room and then like, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to try to go to sleep. And I hear something and I turn my back to the door. I heard it open. Oh, no, 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 no. I heard it open, and I was like, mm. and you know what? And I went back outside. I was like, I'm going to care if I get nasty. And I told my wet lie, and then she was like, yeah, that's happened before. And I was like, oh, okay. No. I was like, but okay. I've heard stories um, about my grandma, too, that she, when she was younger, dishes would, like, fall. And they were thinking like, oh, it was such a big mess. And then she'll go in the kitchen and there's nothing there. And I'll see some videos on YouTube saying the same thing. Like they would hear the dishes fall. And then they think like there's a big mess downstairs in the kitchen. Because you know how like dishes fall and then mm -hmm. they make a big mess and a big noise? That's what they that's what they hear. Then they go down and check and it's nothing. And that happened to my grandma. Like that has, that has happened to my grandma a bunch of times. And I don't know if her house is haunted because... It's kind of scary and it gives me a weird vibe. I mean, she has like saints all over, like little saints all over. Yes. And it's scary. And then, so, she would take 50 points off your thing if you didn't have a pencil. 
like a supply. Like, yeah, she would take 50 points off your grade. And I mean, that would automatically make you fail, though. No, that's stupid. I mean, exactly. that's like a supply. Like, if you need it, okay, here, you need it. Like, it's there if you want. It's not, pencils aren't just there just to be there. Like, they're there to use. I know. And so then I was like, hey, um, Becky, can I please, Miss Becky, can I please borrow a pencil? Mm-hmm. And she was like, no. She was like, no. And I was like, um, I was like, okay, Becky, how am I going to do my work? And then she's like, go outside. And so you know how you have to, like, kids tour around the, like, you know, like, when you go to another school, you get to tour around that school that you're going to? Mm -hmm. Well, there were little kids touring our school. And I was like, okay. And then so they went past um, this, like, our, our room, obviously. And then so they were like, this is the nice teacher. They, like, this, I love her. Like, y'all should take her class. And, like, all this stuff. And I was like... Um, little kids look at me. Like, I didn't even know their names. I was like, little kids look at me. She is not nice. Do not take her class. She sent me out because of a pencil. So do not take her class because Becky is rude and she's not nice. She's evil. That's what I told her. <laughs> she's evil. And so, then the teacher was like, okay, kids, come on now. And then the girl was like, she's not rude, guys. I was like, yes, she is. She sent me out because of a pencil. Like, why would you get, why would a teacher get mad over that? You're a teacher, you would all, like, you would obviously know that kids would need pencils. And I was like, yeah. she takes points off of your grade if you need a pencil, so I really don't think you should take this class. You should take it when you get into, like, another, another school, like, maybe, like, you know, the, so I was like, and then Becky, like, asked me, because I guess the, the kid told her, no, I guess I said that. Because you're rude to me and blah, blah, blah. So she sent me to the office and I got trouble. But, yeah. That's what about the other one? The one in the face? Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> a teacher spit in my face, y'all. She spit in my face. Like, okay, so I'll tell you that story. It was reading class. That's what class it was. It was reading class. Mm -hmm. Fifth grade. I don't even care if this teacher gets, like, you know, bashed. It was fifth grade and... It was reading class, and this teacher did not like me. A lot of teachers don't like me. I wonder why. I'm very nice. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so I went and I was like, you know, okay, and I hate this. This was like the worst like teacher of the day. Mm. And so, what did we call her, Rebecca? Yeah, we called her Rebecca. So Rebecca didn't like me, and we were going to the library because it was library. Day, you know how them fifth graders it's library day guys and so i was like happy because in the library all we do is talk yeah so then we have to you know how in fifth grade where you have to put your backpack under your desk when you go to the library mm -hmm. so i put the backpack under my desk it was nobody in nobody's way nobody's way and she was like becky rebecca said um leilani go get your backpack and i was like it's not in nobody's way and then I was like, ma'am, it's not in nobody's way. Like, everybody's, like, walking. And she was like, Leilani, do what I say. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, hmm. I was like, Rebecca, it's not in nobody's way. And she was like, are you giving me attitude? And I'm like, no, I'm just simply telling you it's not in nobody's way. And she was like, go do it before you go to the office. And I was like, I already got too many write-ups. Like, I can't afford another one. Know. No, so I went to go move it, and now it was under my desk. And she was like, and then so I got in line, and she's like, that's not where you stand in line. And I was like, yes, it is where I stand in line. And she's like, no, it's not. Don't make me tell you again and go in line. And then she's like, Leilani, you can't be, you, like, she was like, she looked at my backpack, and she was like, are you serious? Like, you can't do what you're told? Put it under your desk. And I was like, she was having a whole bad day. I was just like, taking out I was on the like, kids. Rebecca, if you're having a bad day, just tell me that. Like, and I was like, it's not in nobody's way, and I'm not moving it again. You already made me move it twice. I'm not doing it again, period. I didn't say period. I just said I'm not moving it. And so she was like, are you serious? And she got so close to my face. She got like this. like. If you want to kiss, just say I something. No, but she was like this close to my face. Like, really? like this close to my face. Like, it was, she was so close. And I was like, 
Um, Miss girl. girl. My face. Like your breath stinks. Miss girl. No. And so I was like, this is PDA, right? Like, she's so close to me. <laughs> and um, so then I was like, um, get out my face. Get out my face. And she was like, I'm not getting out of your face. What are you going to do? And I was like, I'll slap you if you don't get out of my face. And, like, I said that only because she was in my face. That's not, like, that's rude for a teacher to do. <laughs> so I was like, you better get out of my face before you see what happens to you. And she's like, what's going to happen to me? Nothing but like, like still get on my face. Get on my face. <laughs> get on my face. I want to slap you. And then so she's like, I'm not getting out of your face. And I was like, you better get on my face before I go report this. And yeah. And she's like, I dare you to go. I dare you to go. And then I was like, if you don't get out of my face in three seconds, I will slap you for real. And I was like being for real. I was finna slap her. And then so I was like, one, two. And then when I got to one, she spit on me. <gasps> She actually like spit on you. Yes, like I'm being for real. You thought I was lying? <laughs> you counted down. Yeah, I was like one, two, three, and then she was like, and I'm like, like an actual spit, like mm -hmm. uh, that she did it on purpose. Yes. And I was like, Rebecca, Miss Girl. I was like, you're not supposed to do that, sweetie. And so I wiped, like I took it and I went like, and then I went like this, and then I wiped it on her. I was like. There you go. You can have your spit back, and I'm going to report you now. And I was like, you don't spit in my face. And if you do it again, then something will happen to you. And she's like, you better not leave this room. And I was like, oh, hold on. I was like, I, was like, I turned around, and I looked at her, and I was like, watch me. And then I walked out. And then everybody was like, shook, because a teacher is not supposed to spit in your face. But she made a whole big deal. Out of nothing. Out of nothing for a backpack she should have just let it like just let it okay get in line on me okay let's go yes and so i went to the office and i was like i want to report something and they're like what do you want to report and i was like a teacher just spit in my face and they were like hmm and then i was like i want to go talk to the um principal principal yes i want to go talk to the principal like now like i'm not playing i'm gonna report this and i will get her fired and wait, but after well, after I said watch me, I was like, I'm gonna get you fired. And then I walked out. That's what I did. And so I went to go talk to the principal, and I, the principal didn't believe me, and I felt hurt and betrayed. <laughs> I'm like, why would I lie about that? Literally. And so they put in an invest an investigation with all the students. Stop it. And then so everybody told the principal, yes, she spit in my face, like she spit in her face. And then and didn't so, the teacher say, like, oh, I didn't see anything? Yeah, and then, so, at first, you know how they asked the teachers? Mm -hmm. So, they were like, did he spend like, on his face, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no, why would a kid make up a lie about me like that? Like, that is not okay. Like, I would never do that to a child. I love all my children in my classes. And I was like, Rebecca, there is cameras, sweetie. They probably didn't even work. They didn't. <laughs> But we, I have the students, and at first the students were gonna lie because of what Rebecca said. They would all give them zeros. <gasps> yeah. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And so I was like, Rebecca. And so then um, they asked the children, and then the children were like, yes, like she spit her face, and yeah, you know, she, she told her to get out her face, and then stuff like that, and then she still spit in her face. And then the principal was like shook, I guess, and so they gave her right up. They shouldn't just give her a right up. Like, that was like, They should have kicked her out. That's disrespectful. Like, okay, it's a different thing if you go to my Facebook. At least don't spit on me. That's just... So, mm -hmm. I got to leave early. Yeah, and yeah, so, yeah. because I, so I called my mom and she came to pick me up. Was she mad? She was yes. mad. She was mad and she, like, went complaining and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yes. Great. I was like, Rebecca, when I see you, it's on site. If I ever see you again to this day, it's on site because I know who you are, Rebecca. You better not forget. Mm -hmm. JK, it's not a threat, sweetie. <laughs> she goes to police. Dang. I don't know if she's teaching over there, but mm -mm. it's on site next time. She got her fired just for that. Like, I think just... she got fired like like the year before, after that because she What's... wasn't there no more disrespectful like i mean look what you expect there it's a it's a, like there's little kids like what you expect exactly you, how are you gonna teaching? get mad when you're in fifth grade when they're you? at, you're like 12 Set. oh no 12, 12. You're, yeah you're, you are 12 
know. Like so, 11 or 12. Exactly. So why are you going to get mad at us, Rebecca? You know what we're going to get into? You know what they say. You teach smaller children, that means you're dumb. JK, that doesn't mean you're dumb. You're just, te- you're just teaching like... You know. I mean, what'd you expect? You're teaching little kids. Like, they're not going to listen. Exactly. Like, Rebecca... And then spitting on a little kid's face? Is... I think she did that before, like a year before, or if I was the first one, I don't know. That, no. I would feel honored if I was the first one. Honored. Period. But at least I told her something. Period. You didn't just let it slide, like, oh, I know, she's but I wonder face. who was in that class. I don't know. Everybody was just shocked that she actually did that. I was like... I wish I was there. I wish I was there to see Nate. I, I would have like, been You would have been like... Like this girl. Hold on. Was, let me record. Let me record With this. All of our iPhone let me record sixes. This assa- <laughs> let me record this assault that this teacher is giving a minor. Period. And so that's what happened. And she got fired, or she just didn't want to do that job no more. Mm-mm. Yes, she should. Though. But to all of the teachers that were with y'all. me in fifth grade, I love y'all. I can't do it. I love y'all. Hard. So you you have other like rude customers like experiences or nothing? Well, um, I don't know. Have you? Well, my to my little sister, she was a little kid. She was like really small, and we were at I don't know if I should call out the company. Nah. No, not. call out the company. What, yeah. what is it? Go like this. Wait, what? Oh my god. Krabby Patty? Anyways, yeah, we call it Krabby Patty, I think. What's it what's that place called for SpongeBob? The Krusty Krab! We'll call it the Krusty Krab. Anyways, that lady was folding clothes or whatever. And then she saw it was in the kids area. And my sister was like looking at clothes, like she went, she got them and then she showed my mom and stuff, and I guess the lady had a problem with it. And once when my little sister was alone, she told her something. She went over there and told her something, like, closely, like, hey, can you, st-? like, she, I don't know how she said it, but it wasn't, like, in a nice way. I didn't hear it, but I saw it, like, she was getting close to her. And then my sister got scared. I was like, what? What did she got scared for? And then I told my mom about it, and then she was like, what the heck? And then, yeah, she got mad and all that. Uh, I could never with all y'all rude people out there. Mm-mm. Like, you're gonna get a job. Like, you know what you're getting yourself into if you get literally. a job. Literally. So dumb. Like, you think you're gonna be like that in your first job? Maybe. I can't even be talking about all these people. <laughs> get on my word. No, I'm gonna be really nice. I'm gonna be like, hey, how can I help you? I'll be like, girl, stop being fake. No, I'm gonna be No, nice I'll be like, <clears throat> hey, can I help you find anything? Yes, can you help me find? No, I just I just asked you that. Like, you know, <laughs> don't say yes. It's somewhere in the store. Go find it. You know, I'd be embarrassing myself in the store. You know the self checkout. Bro, store? one time, one time I got milk. I was holding milk. I told you this. I was holding milk, and then like I was walking, and my mom was like, "Hurry up!" And I was like, "Oh, okay." And so I started like that. I was running, and so I guess I tripped in the mi- and I threw the milk, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and then the milk split everyone everybody started looking at me and I was like That's embarrassing. And I just like ran out the store and I went to my mom's car. I like I don't embarrass like stuff don't happen to me so I can get embarrassed. Like I embarrass myself. Like I do this to myself. I like do myself check out stuff like in Walmart and I'm like, what the heck? What do I do? Like I scan this twice and then I'm just like embarrassed, like I don't even wanna like tell like the, the, the person like, oh can okay, you help me? Cause I sound stupid. And I just embarrass myself. And then I start stuttering. And then I get mm-hmm. nervous. And then I'm like, oh, Bro, when you order know. something, like when you... Girl, like, I don't even order. Because how scared I am. I don't even <laughs> order. No, I don't even order on McDonald's. That's how scary it is. Bro, are you serious? Yeah, I don't order my McDonald's. Can I get a... Can I get a... Coke? The, 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 the hot and spicy. <laughs> no, like I get scared. And I I'm like, scared. I'll stutter. I'll be like, can I get a... Uh, um, and then no. I'll just blank out. I'll just be like, I can't do it on drive throughs or face to face because no, it scares me. Like, really does. I don't know how I'm gonna get a job because how I don't talk. Like, I don't what know. happens if you have a rude customer? Girl, I'm gonna be like, hold on, let me get my manager. Come back, if me again, get out. Period. 
Bro, and if somebody yeah. asks for a manager and you're not the manager, I'm just be like, I'm the manager. Like, you're gonna say that? Be like, I'm the manager. I'm gonna be like, I'm the manager, and then they go back and then they, <laughs> they pull out another person. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, Oh, I forgot. I was the manager. <laughs> Lelani and Jimena out. 